Um, I, so the stuff to me about what is going on in the world is just, um, you know, it's human consciousness just waking up to this uh, lie, like everything has been a lie. But it has been also because we are kind of, it's Earth is kind of like a prison, not a prison like, it's, it's like a university, but it's also in, in encased. It's, um, it's like a bubble. It's like a reality bubble. It's not like a globe and there's all space and all that stuff. It's just a, a reality. And it is like a university that's very difficult. Anyone here has been through some challenges. Uh, you know, you may feel small, but you're really not small. <laughs> and, um... You may feel damaged. You're really not damaged. It's just your avatar feels beat up because um, it has the emotions and all of those kinds of responses. Why your higher self is going and having you, you know, play this out as an avatar and experience this so that it can learn from the experience. And you are being watched all the time. Um, they are all around us. They're always watching us. They don't perv on us and stuff like that. Like people think that they are, um, you know, doing something different. They're observing, they're watchers. They're just observing. People are watching us all the time to learn because we're on the main stage of life. When we are in an experience like this, there's always beings around that are trying to watch. And right now we have so many beings around that are trying to help and elevate us. So there's so much telepathy, psychic stuff going on when you really start opening yourself up to that. And it is a process to get yourself to be able to do that. You know, it's learning to trust the supernatural and understand what the difference in the natural world and this created world, uh, this manipulated world, why it's here. It's here for us to learn as souls, uh, you know, as experiences. And, um, you know, it has been very uh, controlled and toxic. It's been out of control. You know, these, these people are uh, out of control with their um, crossing over free will. They, they like look for loopholes or something around free will. Um, with their control and manipulation and programming and indoctrination, they make us believe that we want what they want us to have instead of it coming really from our heart, it is coming from their manipulation of our mind. So then, and then when people start to like understand that we have a natural self, our soul, that is our natural self in our avatar here in this, in, in this reality is a manipulation of science by other beings outside of this system. And in this um, system of control that we've been lied to about that. And that's all going to be coming out. And there's a lot of stuff you can go if, if um, you know, wa wa like watch ancient aliens or find out about the Sumerian tablets and stuff. You know, it just takes doing some research for yourself. And you start seeing like holes in all their stories. You start Their story falls apart. That's why everything is imploding. Because there's nothing, there's no substance to their lies. Everything is just based on lies and manipulation. So, And it's all just to enslave us, to have control over our energy. And, um, and there's so many beings around us that feed off of our energy. That also, you know, give them technology so that they can feed off of our energy. And not only do they sell our energy, they also sell, um, you know, our avatars as surplus. Because um, I guess uh, apparently some people think we're awfully cute in cages and stuff. And we're pets in some places. So, <laughs> you know. It's very funny too, because like you think about you think about some you know oh uh, you know big meathead guy going around like oh you know he's a total badass he thinks he's fucking hot shit in this place and <laughs> he's just a little freaking bird in a cage somewhere else so uh, it's the micro macro of everything but um, anyways the this um, you know this planet it, but we're going right now through it's a it's a changing of the ages. So we're leaving this age that was all about this, where humans were learning or living beings, uh, consciousness was learning 
about you know good and bad they were going through these experiences so that they could try and understand these concepts so now it's like a completion that that um that age completed it had a cycle and it's like goes through the zodiac cycle it goes through every possibility and then it goes back to the next cycle so the next cycle is the age of Aquarius and that's the one we're going to and that's where most of us have this inner feeling of like knowing we're for we're here for something really cool we're here for something really good life has been confusing because we were expecting something good well, we're finally going into something good we're finally going to get there to that something good and um but there is a you know it's a rocky road and then get there you know um it's a lot of uh, healing, a lot of um, inner work to really get yourself into a position of accepting love, accepting um, good things for us. You know, most of us are real easy to accept bad things, you know, because we think we don't deserve anything good. And it's a lot harder to accept good things and accept what feels good because we don't feel like we deserve it. So it, that is that's the pathway is to heal those things so that you can see you do deserve it. You are special. And we're going to go into a time that is going to be fabulous. So when you have that inner knowing, like, um, sorry, my foot's really itchy, or my ankle. Uh, when you have that inner thing of your, uh, your inner feeling is telling you, like, you're here for something great. Listen to that. Don't don't pay attention to what's going on all around you that makes you feel like, oh, because they want to sell us on Armageddon. I mean, they want to sell us on this is the end. No, it's the end of them. It's the end of their system. It's the end of this age that they manipulated. We're going into a new age and it's going to be about freedom and humans um, having the abundance comes back to us. It is like a reversal of fortune. Everything goes back to the people. And we're going to get back in touch with our natural part of ourselves and stop with this, all this manipulation because they're trying to control our avatars so that they can enslave and jail our energy because that is, um, that's why they put so much work and effort into manipulating our mind and making us think that we don't, uh, we're not worthy. We, we have no purpose when we have great purpose and it's so that we can learn and heal. <laughs> so, um, and help each other learn and heal. So, um, this whole, um, thing is the changing of the ages and everybody has got different parts they're focused on. And those are the parts that are going to help them with their healing. So, uh, but it's very, very multi- faceted complex situation there's a lot of things happening there's a lot of things breaking down a lot of things breaking apart people waking up at all different things of all different times but it's all for you know it's um all for because it shows me kind of like in a storm everything always gets shown like in things with water and storms and stuff and it is so much about just being able to ride out the storm and get through it you know but you need to know who your enemy is you need to be clear you need to know what you're fighting against but that you don't hold on to it they're not going to rescue you you let go of it you know <laughs> wave as you go i see you <laughs> but let it go because the age of aquarius where we're headed is going to be all about us it's going to be all about freedom and you know, our relationships are going to improve. Our lives are going to improve. We're going to stop with this uh, surviving and having to work all the time. And we're going to go into living and experiencing and uh, unifying and creating. And, oh, it's going to be so great. This is going to be like community where we actually feel we matter. We're not going on a phone desperate trying to find somebody who can see us, you know. We're going we're gonna to create the world where we feel good, but we got to figure out what makes us feel good. And, you know, that's letting go of all this stuff that has made us feel bad so long. So, um, I'll come back and do it a little bit more.